But the enemies of gay freedom remain committed to keeping homosexuals in check. You started seeing a lot more visibility. At the same time, there was an uppityness of the community. And the police really realized that if we don't actually do something now, this is going to get completely out of hand. In the winter of 1981, police in Toronto execute a massive crackdown on the gay bathhouses. This was the largest police operation that had happened against the lesbian and gay community. And it was, in fact, the largest mass arrest in Canadian history, second only to the War Measures Act. He says, you're all being charged for being in a body house. I was flabbergasted. I still had no idea what he was talking about. The police went whole hog, decided to do it all on one night, arrest as many people as possible, let's drag them in, let's really teach them a lesson. You were in a room, and you started hearing commotion. You didn't know what was going on. And then a cop would come and smash the door and would drag you in and put you in. If you were naked, so be it. The people in the shower would be grabbed out of the shower room. It happened February 5th. On the morning of February 6th, we decided to actually have a demonstration that very night. You had all these people contact their friends that contacted their friends, and so it actually spread very, very fast. It really was on an order that had never been thought of, a lesbian and gay demonstration which was far more angry and far more aggressive than the police ever thought they had on their hands. They were completely thrown back by the reaction. You could see they were not at all prepared for this angry mob and still couldn't believe it was in front of their eyes. Somebody said to me, police have raided the bathhouses. And I said, what if they got against cleanliness? <laughs> The police knew nothing at all about the gay male community. They actually thought there were only three or 400 gay men in Toronto, and they would all pack up and move to Vancouver as a result of the raids, but really. The bathhouse raids happened in one night, but the politics of the bathhouse raids were at least a couple of years. We had 308 men who had to go through the legal system, so we went and tracked each of those cases. We had fundraising that had to be done. Those are political, social skills that build up a community. We went through what could have taken us 20 years in two years. 